and it's got some work. You gotta, you gotta cut these up. You gotta cut these up. You gotta cut these up. You gotta chop these up. You gotta open these. You gotta mix that. It's just a little thing. Woo! This is more like it right here. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas all through the house. I, 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 I ain't gonna do it. I can't, I can't sing. But welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to the 12 Days of Christmas. I thought it'd be fun just to uh, take a day and each day make something uh, that we do on our Christmas dinner. And, and out of those 12 days, if you wanted to, here's some ideas. So let's get right down. Ooh, my eye itches. Um, we're gonna make fruit salad. Now, some of you and I and I, by all means, this this tastes good and I love it too. Is can of fruit cocktail, mix some Cool Whip in with it. Boom! It's good. People like it. People serve it. It's inexpensive. It's great. But, but. That's not what Rico does. Rico tends to uh, make things a little too extra. This is Rico's fruit salad. It's a recipe that, uh, well, my mom and my sister used to make. And I don't have the actual written recipe. And I got a piece of it in my head. And I asked my brother. And he makes one a little different. I asked my cousin. She makes one a little different. Uh, so I don't know where the recipe actually is or where it came from, but I know this is what my mom and my sister used to make, and it was good. Now, this uh, this salad's not cheap, and again, you don't have to do this. You could use just a fruit cocktail, whip up some heavy whipping cream, put it in there, some maraschino, maraschino cherries, and, and it's all good, and no one's going to care. Or, you can do a little extra, put this all together, and people like it and they'll remember that fruit salad but again it, it, it's not cheap I mean every one of these cans is two bucks um, this is probably a two four six eight ten twelve this is probably a twenty dollar salad but we're gonna use fresh real grapes we're gonna put some pears in it we're gonna put some peaches in it we're gonna put some pineapple in it we're gonna put some maraschino cherries I'm gonna put a little mango in it And we're going to put some mandarin oranges, which are the uh, the star of the salad. So I think we got everything. Oh. And depending what it looks like, we may just put that, uh, that can of fruit cocktail in there too for the heck of it. First thing I want to do, just get it out of the way, is we got to cut up the sliced peaches, the pear halves, the grapes, the marshmallows and the cherries. And one thing we do want to do is you want to get a colander or a strainer because we're not going to use the juice in these things. Uh, we're just not going to do it because it'll make the salad too uh, too watery. Now I just happen to be using uh, Del Monte products. They're a little more expensive. I just think the quality is a little better, but you don't have to use, use those by all means. What we're going to do is we're just going to pour each of these cans into there. And this salad makes a lot. Now, a few of you out there are going to be measurement people. Oh, I want to know a cup, a half cup. I, I watched my brother when he made his, and his, his versions, it's a different salad. It's really good, though. But it asks, like, for 10 ounces or a half a cup. And he's looking, well, he's 15 ounces in the can. And, and he's trying to verify, oh, I'll put the whole can. So just 
cut the fruit up, put it in there and see what you have. I, I'm not going to worry about this. So we're going to take these peach slices and we're just going to cut them up into halves and thirds. We don't want a bunch of little pieces because we want bites, we don't want little tiny things. So I'll give you an idea here right now. I'm going to try one of these. That's pretty good. And then we'll do the pears. The pears, we're just going to cut into like force that way and just go like that. I'm going to try one. That's pretty good. I like pears. So that's we will start straining the whole can of mandarin oranges. But did they look good? I don't know if they are or not. Look pretty good. I'm gonna put some mangoes in it. I think we're just gonna use like three quarters cup of the mangoes. This is a big can of pineapple, so I probably won't do the whole can of pineapple. These are actually pretty good because they're kind of like bite size. You could probably put these in whole, but I'm going to half them. Again, it lets the juices out of the grapes. It, uh, and we're not going to use the, all of this grapes for sure. But after you mix it together, if you want to add more of something, you can. Oh, before I forget to tell you, I don't have one tonight. But my mom would always put a banana in it the next day, like right before you serve it, because the bananas tend to, uh, brown up so she always just cut the banana up and put it in right before you serve it and I'm cutting these in half long ways I don't think it makes a difference just how I'm doing it um, you never have enough of these cherries it seems like I'm going to, hold on, let me get one thing here. I'm, okay, I'm not going to pour the cherry juice into here because cherry juice, cherries, these maraschino cherries are expensive. This is the, uh, the royal cherry has the stems and everything on it. I don't know if that's good or not. But my mom always keeps a thing of cherry juice or did keep a thing of cherry juice in the uh, refrigerator. So she was making frostings or something like that. So I'm just going to strain the juice out of these to make it easier to get some of these out and then I'll, if there's any, we're going to put the whole, the whole kit and caboodle in there and we're just going to put the juice back in here and that'll go in the fridge. I don't have any more cherries, but you probably, Jimmy Hosh, you probably could put two of these jars in. It'd be okay because you never have enough cherries. What was it? Someone told me their family. They would leave one with the stem, and if you got that one with the stem, like at dinner, you, there was a special gift waiting for you or something. I don't remember. I don't remember how that worked, but... Okay, we're just going to cut these in half, the cherries. And there's not enough cherries. It's going to be short on the cherries, but that's okay. Let's cut all these in half. Okay. They look pretty good. Sticky. Also, I would do this like standing up by your sink. 
because it does get sticky. Okay, next, well, my brother, and we're in Oklahoma, and he's making his, which is a little different recipe, but it's still a fruit salad, just different. Um, he was he was looking at the marshmallows, and he used the little tiny ones, which are fine. I, you know, then I had a pie fit, of course, because I know everything. Hey, Gene, Mom and Connie always use the big ones, and they cut them, and he started thinking about it, and, uh, but that's more work. And you probably can dip your knife into uh, some water. That might make it simpler cutting these. Uh... I mean, I do know why my brother didn't want to cut them now because they are a pain in the butt. But you know what? It makes salad uh, better. Now in my family, everybody would fight over this bowl full of fruit juice. It's just pure sugar, liquid sugar is all it is. But the kids think that's cool. There is probably... I'm going to look and see. There's probably something I can make out of that. Some kind of candy or dessert. And I'll, I'll, so I'll, I'll seal it up in a, a Tupperware type deal. And research the... Uh, Research the deal tomorrow. The Google. Look the Google. Tell you what, I'm glad I bought these old school uh, bowls. Uh, Pioneer Woman Collection. I'm going to go get another set of them. Because uh, I like this big one. I wish it had a lid. And I wish it had a handle. But I think they had some with a handle. So I'm going to go look Walmart. I mean, who to thunk? So this is pretty much done draining. We're going to pour this into the bowl. We're going to get rid of the, whoop, there's a marshmallow. I'm going to use that. You can see it's got a nice, I may have got a little, uh, not too much uh, whipped cream in it. I don't know. This is really good. All right, we're going to put it in the fridge. And we will, uh, it was good. We'll see you in the morning, see how it turned out.